and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm your host, Nick Legato. This returner base is kind of mm, questionable. Very small, very isolated. Please join us in our battle, Phoenix Down. Spelt wrong. Air Lance had a better weapon for luck. The true knight. Antidote. Raiding here. Tentacure. And if I'm not mistaken, if my memory's. Yes! Just say, and a white cape. White cape! Alright, so we've done that. We can actually, relic wise, take the star pendant off and put on a white cape for Terra here. Good. Okie dokie. Let's move south. Moving south. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, wow! Thank you. Sorry. We already picked up the green cherry and the other items that are available here, so we are. We have the option of continuing. We are going to spend a little bit of our hard-earned catch. Um, we are going to buy... This is the first time we've been able to buy potions. So I go and buy about a good ten of those. And that's about all we need. We need to talk to every character we've met. I can trust your brother, but... <laughs> yeah. Someone dropped the scrap paper. Toss it in the trash or leave it there. We'll leave it there. Um, that is a reference to a joke, uh, a Japanese, it has to do with a Japanese joke, um, it didn't port well. Even in the remake, I never really, I don't think they even explained that well, um, in the remake. Really? Someone important to you was imprisoned, you say, by the Empire. I don't think that's the kind of important she meant, Locke. I think she meant, I don't have, you know, a sheep I'm close to or a battery pack at home. Like, I just have Pamela Henderson. Yeah. That's nice of you. With a big fat question mark over my head. <laughs> so... We've done about everything worth doing, so let's uh, see what's here. Well, let me in. I'm going to talk to Bannon. Now, there's two things we can do here. Bannon, you can either join the cause or not. I like to say no. There's a reason for this. Bannon will give you one of two items. If you agree to help, he'll give you a gauntlet. Which is a rare relic, yes, but not so much useful. If you disagree with him three times in a row, you will get a different item. The Genji Glove. The Genji Glove, hands down, is a far superior weapon than uh, the other. <laughs> it's far superior relic. The Genji Glove allows you to equip two weapons, one in each hand, at the sacrifice of not being able to equip, the, equip a shield, which, for me, is a good thing. And you will find out specifics about that later. Uh oh, serious music. Dun dun dun. dun. Uh oh, he's fall. He's fallen. What is this? Someone did a number on him. Yes, South Figaro. They've taken South Figaro. Has to sneak into South Figaro to slow the Empire down. He's actually going to dequip everything I think that's on him. So that's fine. A lecherous young king. <laughs> uh, so we gotta escape down the Lit the Lidi River, make our way to Narsh. He wants to see Esper himself, so we'll have to let him do that. Maybe he will gain some understanding of your own abilities. Well, maybe. Let's make haste. We must leave. We must flee. Relic will keep us safe, the Genji Glove. Now, there are certain things that we can really do with it. Um, we're going to re-equip our party for this scenario here, as you can see. Okay, before we go anywhere, obviously this is our new party with Bannon in our party. We can't do much to warrant moving him. We can't even equip him. He's equipped with a Punisher, a Magus hat, and uh, some kind of clothing, I forgot. Uh, but while we're here, we can do the ever-elusive scene. <laughs> a lot of people don't know about this scene. He's sleep-talking! Uh, okay. 
Let's move. Okay, so, we can save. Which, if you haven't saved, I recommend you do that now. The catch is, is Bannon, though, being mostly useless. He can heal your entire party and so on, but if he falls in battle, it's game over, pal. Game over, buddy! So keep that in mind. So we don't need the star pendant, so we're going to upgrade him with the running shoes. We're going to give our buddy here the hyper wrist and the true knight in case Bannon gets into any trouble. We're going to remove the sprint shoes and really just leave it empty right now because we don't have really a reason to run anywhere so we're not going to worry about that we could heal up we can heal up if we need to um but i think we're okay for the moment by the time we get to the next save point we can use a tent and we'll have to use a tent anyway so not too bit not too much of a worry bannon will do a lot of the goody goods for us anyway and welcome to lete river Let let lete river there's a rumor about Lete River, and it is a good rumor that you could power level here, but we are not doing so. And obviously they stated the obvious, informing Bannon. We're going to probably show everything going on here, because really it's all battle related anyway. There's the Pterodon. You want to make sure you fight one of these guys while you're here. That's a big yes. You need to make sure you fight a Pterodon while you're out here. Because if you don't, damn it, if you don't, You'll be a, you'll be disappointed in yourself later. Very disappointed. Ouch. And all Bannon ever has to do is cast health. Just to make sure I get the hit this time. That is like a heal. That's like a cure level two right there. Can't argue that. Yeah. Pterodons are dangerous. They can cast fireball that hits everybody in the party, and two of those could be death for Bannon. So be aware that that can happen. We are going to go left. I think if you go straight, you'll fight more battles, but whatever. Who cares? Double Pterodon battle. Not, you notice, as you can see, I'm not using my magic. No reason to, really. Hopefully I did it right this time. God dang it, what is going on? I know I can do this blitz. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with my blitzes right now. Sometimes you just go through that pro blitz problem phase, you know. <laughs> so we'll try a different blitz, and I bet you that'll fail too. Well, win the battle. Not a big deal. Alright, two potions on top of that. Always a good sign. As we keep going up the river. And there's the other one. The uh, Nataloid, which is, I think, the one with the shell, can, as you can see, cast blind which can be a bad thing. There's suplex, I don't know if it'll work. Yeah, he got suplex on. Suplex! I wouldn't worry about the blind status so much as we are, as you can see, we're rarely using the regular attack. And that's only Terra doing it right now, so... No reason to worry about being blinded at this point, to being blind at this point of the bat at this point of the game. And the battle is complete. Now that's not the strongest of Sabine's or, uh, um, Blitz is at the moment. The strongest one available to us, single target wise, right now is the Aura Bolt, which is magic related. Its base statistic is based on magic, which we will eventually, you will eventually see when I can actually do it. I've been trying to do it and failing miserably. Save point! Um, we don't have any eye drops, do we? Yeah, we are eye drop less, so we'll have to just deal with that. We can save, which I will do, just because it's always good to save. I don't care that he's blind, and I don't care I have a lot of MP. The MP is, as you can see, MP is not a big problem here. As we lag. Had to reload there from the frickin' lag spike I hit, so I just reloaded. Because that lag was... I was outside the cave, and I was still insanely lagging, so... Had to fix that. We will go left. I don't know what was doing it. I, I think it's because I'm making the videos as soon as I finish them and then I keep playing the game so that's probably part of it so I'm probably gonna have to just do a, a whole bunch of playing and then make the videos later all right obviously we want Bannon health and we will just let you fight so as you can see there's nothing too complicated about this river this is just your standard evil river it's filled with monsters we've met every enemy so I'm not too worried about that now Yay, we won! Diggity-doo, 
when Bannon leveled up. <laughs> like, that's a big deal, but whatever. Like, that's saying much. Okay, we can save here. May as, well, may as well, right? You know, may as well. Let's keep moving. Yeah, that's weird. The two save points were close, but a lot of people don't realize they keep they go in that circle over and over again, and that's one of the secrets of Lete River. But we will not participate in such shenanigans. They'll even get turbo controllers fly around in that circle until they get to level like 99, and it's only the three characters in the party, so it's not even that great. But it does help. <laughs> And here's Ultros, the number one most annoying character of this game. Some people love him. Most people don't. Ultros is the root of all evil, as far as bad guys go. He hits really hard. He actually has a very good chance of killing Bannon. Um, he'll usually tentacle the whole party, and then he'll do a single tentacle attack to Bannon, which will instant get him. Insta get him. So be aware that you could be in trouble if you're not paying attention. Damn it. If you're not being careful. So always make sure Bannon is constantly using health. And if for any reason he gets hurt and he's under 110 HP, by all means throw out a single heal. Just do it. You'll you'll thank me later. Because you'll live. You'll be alive! And I screw that blitz up again. I'm just not doing very well with this blitz. Uh. And he'll ink a lot of people as well. Inking! the bio blaster so the idea is to keep throwing out fire keep throwing out i just used the bio blaster this one time to get the poison status on it and from here on out i'm going to use auto crossbow and everybody as you can see is in the back row it is the safest place to be because of that attack if you were in the front row it'd be about 250 instant death for bannon so no reason and maybe and possibly terra so there's no reason at all to be in that front row Edgar and Sabin would Sabine probably be fine, but the others, uh, Instagib. We just gotta keep unloading on him. Eventually he's gonna hit use the multi-tentacle attack, and then he's gonna use a single tentacle attack, which will be bad. That'll that has a chance of actually killing somebody. Here it is. And as you can see that did pretty bad. Oh, he didn't do it. He has the option of doing the single one, but he didn't, which is good. And we're back to full health. So this battle's pretty much in the bag. Seafood soup. Oh. He inks us again. God, he needs to find a new attack. No, no, no. Just keep inking me. I can kill him. And that's all, friends. <laughs> and he's out of there. And we get the crazy. What the hell happened to music? I guess we thrashed it. It's probably just hiding from us. Ew! It got its ink. He inked on me. <laughs> Uh, watch out, I'm gonna hit it with a blitz! No, Savin, don't distract, don't distract me, brother! Booyah! <laughs> He's always been a tad bit zealous. <laughs> uh, should know him better than any of us. Any moment he'll flop right onto the raft. No! The idea is, he pretty much just got uh, a little uh, too excited there. One can argue exactly what happened there. It's up for debate. He probably got his butt kicked <laughs> by uh, Ultros and then was knocked, knocked into another zone. Okay. All right. So this is an interesting point of the game. I like this fact, actually. There's so many characters in Final Fantasy VI. You get to actually do this. We get to select a scenario. So we're going to save. And on the next episode of Let's Play, we will be exploring the new story Will we go with the two here, with Bannon, Sabine, or Locke? You'll find out then. We'll see you there.